Hello friends, I am Monica Lille and I am going to deliver a presentation on introduction to IoT. First of all, what is IoT? So IoT stands for Internet of Things. Here Internet means a global network which is used for uh, uh, connecting uh, different devices in a network and uh, uh, providing various information and uh, communication facilities. Here, inter internet which connects all people is called the internet of people. So the internet which connects all the things in the world is called the internet of things. Next is the definition of what is IoT. Now in simple words we can say that IoT uh, can be defined as a system of uh, uh, interrelated component uh, computing in which different devices are connected to the internet so that they can share their data and uh, uh, can transfer data over a network without requiring human to human or human to computer interaction. Now why IoT? Um, there are various advantages of why to use IoT. So some of them are listed here. First one is dynamic control of industry and daily life. Then improve the resource utilization ratio, better relationship between human and nature, forming an intellectual entity by integrating human society and physical systems. Then flexible configuration, uh, universal transport and internet working, and uh, IoT act as an in technologies integrator. Next is architecture of IoT. Now we can see here in the diagram that uh, IoT architecture consists of four stages starting with things as the first stage. Uh, the things are different devices and sensors which are used to, uh, which are actually used in a network for, uh, pro uh, for providing the services. Next is gateway. So some uh, devices which are there in the network may not be capable of uh, communicating with the internet so in that case gateways are the interface which are used uh, between internet and uh, things third stage is the internet it is which provide uh, uh, data security B bpm and uh, analytics facility and uh, is the internet provides network and the last one is the services. Services are the application which are actually uh, the applications of the IoT. Um, so these four stages uh, are interconnected by the different protocols. So we will study further about the protocols of IoT. So here is the list of some uh, protocols which are used in IoT. First one is six low pane. Uh, this um, protocol is used for connectivity and it facilitate encapsulation and header compression. Uh, next is thread. Thread is the protocol which is used for specifically for uh, home automation. Then uh, is Zigbee. Zigbee is the industry standard protocol. It is used for um, by industry and uh, it's, uh, it is 802.15.4 standard protocol then is mqtt protocol it is protocol for machine to money machine connectivity um, next is nfc protocol nfc stands for near field communication protocol um, it is used for uh, the um, uh, it uh, facilitate the two-way communication between different devices then is z wave Z-Wave is a short-range protocol which uses radio frequency for communication. Last one is IPv6. IPv6 uh, is the standard protocol which is used for um, wide range, which provides wide range of addresses and uh, security options. Uh, next is characteristics of IoT. So, uh, characteristics of IoT includes intelligence. Uh, so we uh, iot provide a facility for uh, extracting uh, knowledge from the data that is intelligence then uh, architecture iot provides such an architecture that even complex system can be included into it size consideration um, uh, it includes uh, uh, scale uh, it can be scalable means uh, uh, we can add 
so many devices into an application of IoT, then time consideration means parallel events can be performed uh, at a time, then uh, everything as a service. Uh, so IoT as uh, IoT device IoT application provides services for everything or a resource as a service. Next one is application of IoT. So uh, application of IoT includes healthcare. So um, IoT provides some applications which are specifically for healthcare. Uh, performing regular medical checkups for the elderly people or uh, uh, for measuring heartbeats and uh, uh, blood pressure etc healthcare application of iot can be used next is manufacturing manufacturing in iot application will be beneficial for uh, uh, greater efficiency and productivity in manufacturing uh, then is retail for retail the uh, components which will be used for IoT application will be supply chain, then some connected customers and uh, the uh, store application, which will be an interface between uh, uh, customers and the uh, store. Then uh, telecommunications. So IoT in telecommunications is useful for lowering the cost of operation. Um, next one is transportation. Transportation is uh, uh, used, uh, uh, application of IOTs in transportation is beneficial for uh, reducing the damages and uh, accidents which are generally caused during transportation. Uh, next one is smart home application. So this one is uh, uh, nowadays in so much in use. So home applications include various devices which are connected at home and uh, so that we can have um, uh, have intelligent software. Now, future of IoT. So, um, the IoT in future will uh, is going to impact a lot in uh, society and business in coming years. So, some of uh, the applications which will be there in future includes wear the IoT. Uh, that is a shirt which will be for athlete will be used for. Uh, uh, measuring the performance biometrics of that athlete. Next is the farming will be more friendly and easy um, by the use of applications of IoT. Next is looking after the elderly. So uh, it includes healthcare. Uh, so health checkups can be done by the use of IoT. Next is looking after your property. Uh, so security camera and various devices which are included in the IoT for home automation can be used for the uh, security of the property. Next is never be late again possibly. So uh, IoT application in future will be facilitating with driverless cars. So there will be less number of damage and accidents uh, in the um, traffic. So and the last one is smart cities. So smart cities includes managing the parking and waste disposal as well as the home automation healthcare facility which will be provided by IoT in future will lead to smart cities. Thank you.